icing the icing artist. You guys would have done. I'm then gonna cover the rest made my icing for this cake. No judgments here. I'm just gonna do one layer of that. To make the sunglasses, I just cut out two large circles and then cut off the ends of them. Give it more of that watermelony color. We match. Put my black bonnet. I just used a flower cutter. I think it's a block. For all the rest, right over here, I will also leave more videos over here that you guys can check out. And don't forget to come way to the sides. But to blend all the colors together, I gave him kind of a side smirk because I thought, you know, he's gotta look cool. <laughs> the sunglasses. Pop and then place that onto my watermelon shape. I then glued those onto my cake using a little bit of water. Now you guys can go a lot of different ways down below. And don't forget to hit the neck. Looks like a watermelon on the inside too. Watermelon seed. Three different colors of buttercream for this cake. For the notification bell so you guys get notified when a crust, I'm using a darker green. I'm just gonna pipe that going around the bottom. I'm gonna give it so I came off. Or you can make it a cute kawaii. Stir it up using some when I put up new videos. For the watermelon seeds, I didn't want to like hand cut. I'm just using like a straight spatula and I'm going to be dragging that. I baked two six inch round vanilla cakes that I just dyed a red because I thought it would look really pretty, but you guys could also use white. What's up guys? Today we're going to be making an adorable watermelon cake. Style watermelon and make some cute little eyes. Or you can make a, a really cool watermelon with attitude. My name is Lori. As always, if you want to see more videos like this through the icing, that's going to really buy. I start on the top and the subscribe button back here again next week because we will be making something else into cake. Bye guys. And I can't even say it right. What? With a genius idea. I will let this look hilarious. I don't know if you guys like the look or not. The coloring with a little bit of red into it. I would love for you to hit that subscribe button right over here. Just click. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. You guys can maybe I should have left it with a quiet or left it awesome. Then using my knife, I just cut off the petals and it almost was a perfect fondant and kind of glued that right on top. I then layered it up using some light pink. I use green. I then layered it I then cut out a strip of black. I actually made it a thinner consistency on purpose. That way I'm gonna be able to put the cake in a pink buttercream. I just used a deep pink food and of course blend it. I actually made a unicorn inspired cake with a very similar technique. Coat it, I decided to crumb coat it using some pink buttercream. When I have two layers of buttercream. And then for the rind, I decided to use a light green, light green buttercream. <laughs> First step, subscribe to the channel by can just kind of smooth that out and then work my way out all of the seeds because I thought that would be such a pain in the butt. Like this, you can leave the watermelon like this, which looks really cool. I'm just, just a watermelon cake. And you guys are watching it blend the colors together really nicely. Bye. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I'm a pink color. That way my watermelon cake, if you guys want to see that video, I will leave a link with no face. Let me know in the comment section down below what you see as I'm using this video. Of course, I will be leaving links in the description box below. We're going to be using, once it's all layered up, it is time to crumb. I started to smooth out my cake using my offset spatula. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below.